Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. It is Ophelia the Witch. In today's video, we are going to be doing a journal tour. So basically, I try to journal every single day. There is times in my life where things become really busy for me, really chaotic for me. Obviously, Earth comes in seasons, and so are we as humans. We are seasonal beings. So each season is a little bit different for people. Some seasons, you'll be able to journal a lot more than other seasons. Um, it really just depends on what type of era you're in. If you're in your healing era, your journaling meditation era, or if you're in your era where you're on the go, hanging out with people, spending time with people, working a lot. Sometimes you don't have a lot of time to journal, so don't give yourself a hard time if you are a journal person and you are not able to journal. Journaling makes me feel better as a person is what I've noticed. A lot of therapists will even tell people, have you tried journaling? You are the only person that really knows yourself. Even if you try to explain yourself to somebody else, they're always going to have a little bit of a different perspective of you. Sometimes you don't even feel comfortable talking about something that you have whether it's a secret whether it's a feeling your sadness your happiness sometimes it's nice to just write something down and get it out of your system whether you keep it in a journal burn it afterwards so not every single journal is the same type of journal that I do I have daily journalings which is like a diary that one is my favorite to do I also have journals I keep when I'm doing meditations or tarot oracle polls I have journals for kind of like a prompt section so like like, uh, what am I happy for today? When I first started my journal and spiritual journey, uh, I would get a new crystal. I would write down the crystal name and write down all of its meanings so I could really understand the properties. So it's also good for learning new things or different color meanings, candle meanings, or even tarot cards. If you are scared of people reading your journal, which it does happen, it's happened to me a couple different times actually, which is not okay. You can always keep your journal safe in your purse or you can keep it in your car or you can even get a locking one where you can like lock the journal or whatever. And also I feel that I am assigned for you to start your journal and I am here to help and inspire you. So just take all of this as a message, take it into your mind or if you already do have a journal, I'm super excited. Don't stop journaling because it's helping you. So let's go ahead and just start the journal tour. The first journal I ever got, I'm gonna start with that one. This one I got when I was on a vacation in Florida. It's so cute. It was a while ago. I think I wrote the date in here. It was 2018. So this is the first time I really started a journal journal. I always kept like a little something when I was younger, but this is my first actual taken serious journal. I was 16 years old and I remember that's when I was going through my spiritual awakening. It has a cute little hand on it. Whenever really I felt like I had to get something out and journal it away, I would write it in here. And I really loved how this started to make me feel and even letters people would give to me. Definitely my favorite type of journal is daily journaling, keeping like a type of diary. But yeah, so I finished this one and then I got another one because I needed to keep my journaling streak going. I think I started using this one after. I never finished this one. I started a daily journal in here too. But then I started writing down all the seasons and their meaning like cancer season, how did I feel during this time? Leo season, how did I feel during this time? Virgo season. But I didn't really connect with this journal for some reason I remember so I started a different journal but this journal is still super cute it has like the little zodiac uh, constellation on here this one is very cute obviously it's not that big I remember just wanting a little one because I didn't feel like it was like a huge new era of my life I just felt like it was an in-between phase of my life so I wanted to get a little one because I do like to get journals now for like when it's my birthday so i have it for a whole year or however long it lasts really but it's like different books of my life and it's really really cool to read it back that's also why i love to journal so i remember i got this one from a crystal shop so yeah this one is super cute and it feels cool i like to journal at the beach i like to journal in my bed i like to journal when i'm on top of a hill in nature. I just love to journal and I do love to journal when I'm outside. And then I started using this one after 
put some stickers on it. I remember seeing this, it was like blank, and I was like, I'm gonna fill this bitch up. Today is my 20th birthday. So I started this one a couple years ago and I did finish it. I think I finished it around my birthday too. Just another little daily journal. This one was my most recent journal until I finished it. I put little stickers in it as well. Um, I started it on July, so my birth month, and I ended it in June of the next year. So it was almost a year, maybe even less than a month ago. Oops, something flew out of a plane ticket. And I just reread re the whole thing. Like after I finished them, I always reread them. And I was rereading it on the beach and it was just so cool to look back on. And I remember this is when it turned springtime. I put this in here and the leaf I found on the ground. I like had a garage sale. So I like put in my garage sale sticker. I love what's on it, the little Egyptian symbols. This one is a dream journal. This one is giving dream journal too. Like it's literally so fuzzy and cute and it's like, it's just giving dreams. I would wake up in the night and write some of it in my phone app or a lot of it in my phone app and then it would just like come back to me the next morning and I would like write it down. I didn't keep doing this because once you start like really realizing your dreams, you start having really weird dreams. Like once you start actually paying attention to them, you start having lucid dreams, waking up in your dreams, it can cause sleep paralysis and it's just a whole different. I would write down my dreams, they didn't make any sense and I would title them. What's really inside a neighborhood? Wait till dark to steal empty alcohol. Seeing barefoot apartments. I don't do that anymore, but it's such a cute idea. This one was more of like a prompt journal. This one is cute. So this one, I wrote down Monday, like what importance of each day of the week. What, what do Mondays bring? What do Tuesdays bring? What do Wednesdays bring? Uh, Mondays are moon days. That's what it's named after. So it's the day of the moon. It's a whole different, it's a whole different like conversation to have with you guys. Days of the week are very, very important and they actually do represent planets. Moon day, Tuesday, Tuesday is Mars day. Uh, Saturday is Saturn day, Sunday is Sunday. Like it's, it's a whole thing. And I would write down how to raise your vibrations, how to do all of it, daily stuff, I'm thankful for, self cares, happy Valentine's day, writing a little thing to myself, what sunstone means, uh, what skills am I grateful for? Self-realization notes, like book, like a book I was reading. I would write down notes for it. So this one is filled with just a lot of information. And I remember these journals would always make me feel super good, especially when you love to journal, but you don't only just want to do like a diary form. You want like more. What is this one? Oh, this one, I didn't actually, there's a, oh no, I did. Like kind of like this one in a way. I think I just started a new one. Uh, I think this one came first. Oh my gosh, I manifested my cat in here. Self-limiting beliefs, how to get rid of them. It's kind of like the same thing, like my lover, what am I into, a daily intentions, favorite things about myself. It's just really cute. I love a cute journal. Like if you notice, like they're all so cute. I personally love a daily journal that is like bendy. It makes me want to write in it more. Guys, I just got the cutest new journal and I'm going to show you at the end of the video so you better stay and watch the whole thing. So these two are kind of similar even though I didn't get them at the same time. This one is a tarot journal so they have like tarot pictures and then you could write down like the tarot cards and like the spreads and remember them. I did it for a little bit but there's not enough lines in this book for me to explain the downloaded message I just got. I remember I started using this one as like a little planner. This one was like my random one. This one, also some dude downstairs like won't stop playing the drums and I like waited to make the video but I was like, you know what, I don't give a shit. So if you hear the drums, just know. This is a shadow work journal. Shadow work became a little bit of a known thing within the past few years. You know, this generation decided to actually heal themselves. Basically bringing up questions, deep questions that you would talk about in a therapy session almost. So let's see, how do my siblings view me? What was my favorite activity as a child? In what ways do I hold myself higher standards than other? What do I subconsciously punish myself for? Uh, write myself a letter of forgiveness. But I actually ended up finishing the whole thing after a couple years. So I do need to start a new one. Uh, but I've been stalling, of course. I used to have a daily journal routine in the morning. I would write in this journal, this journal, this journal, and I do still have a daily journal, but it's not uh, that many anymore. Uh, but I would include this, but I just noticed like, you know, sometimes you can't always like 
keep going back to the same wounds that hurt you. You can only like move on by moving on, but it is nice to resurface and then let go. So I feel like doing shadow work a lot is nice and then taking a long break is also nice. So you have time to heal. And then also, of course, you're always making new wounds. So I need to get ready to shadow work about those soon. This one I got for school. This one was like a school journal for like science or whatever, but I did not do any science. I mean, I guess I was an astrologist. Started writing down the crystals and all of their meanings. The main crystals, rose quartz, clear quartz, amethyst. So what do all the chakras mean? This is what I would learn about in school. There's always something to do. So, so I wouldn't just like sit on my phone. There's always something to do, meditate, manifest. And then I also learned the tarot cards in here. All the pentacles I would write in green, the cups I would write in blue. I even wrote some like songs in here. First started to connect with my spirit guides. So we have completed this side. Let's move on. This one was when I first started my YouTube channel. I didn't really know where to start or what to say. So I kind of wrote it down all in here. I would like write down the ideas. So if you're starting a channel or starting a project, you should definitely keep something like this. This one was just one of those little prompt journals. I never finished this one, but this one had the cutest little pages on it. Like, look at this. So I would write down the new moon, what the new moon was gonna bring me, my intentions for the new moon. I choose to live in the present moment, do some random drawings. Glow up time, how can I glow up? This one, literally don't know. I really wanna make a book, so maybe I'll write a book in here. Do you guys have anything like that where you like, I want this journal, but you don't know what to write in it? How about I just like write normal stuff in it, like a normal person? Same with this one. This one, I just wanted to get a notes one because I literally write so much stuff in my notes app. Continue to write it in my phone because my phone is just so much quicker. This one, I started to try to learn stuff in. A research journal, numerology, subconscious mind, deja vu, astrology. This one I got when I was like up north and I saw a really cool crystal shop. A fairy on it. It's like an earth fairy. This one has a lot of drawings I did. Uh, I get in chapters and phases of my life where I draw all the time. Another drawing book. I worked at a doggy daycare for a little bit and I was like a receptionist and I was like pretty bored. I started to draw while I was up there and I actually started to create like an oracle deck and uh, I got, I did a lot and I was planning on making them into cards. I feel like I'm just always constantly criticizing myself like, oh, I can do better than that, but it is so cute. This one isn't really filled out all the way. I just started writing in it and then I never really finished it because I kind of didn't know what to do with it. Like I didn't know what to do with the other one. This one is my manifestation journal. So one time I was meditating at this like really cool park I always go to back home and I was literally the only person there. I went back to my car and this was on my car. Whatever you want out of this life, you can make it happen. Someone told me to, that you needed to know that. I'm really close with all of the spirits there, like the energy there. And like one time I like left a bottle there like with like a little capsule thing and I went there the next day and it was gone. And it's not even like a public place, like it was like very hidden. Printed off some pictures, journaled about how it would make me feel. This one I use in the mornings. I'll meditate at my altar every morning, pull like three different oracle cards from three different decks sometimes even more and then i'll write the message i get from that meditation that oracle and then i always get a different message in the morning and then at night that night i always get something that correlated with my message that morning i'll like see it at night or get it at night it's so cool so yeah and then i like the red and black theme in here made in india so this one i finished so i went and bought this one this one I got here in California. Um, I just moved here. I went to a little crystal shop because I wanted to get a journal, see if they had anything cute. And this one is literally so cute. It has like a little lock thing here too. Pages in it are blank. And I just started writing it. So since I write in this one every morning, I kind of just am starting to write in this one really when I am going to the beach or when I'm going to a little spot of mine. I'm gonna start using it as a daily journal. On the back there looks like there's like snake skin. This one is a huge journal. This is going to be for spells. I just did one in it so far. Um, spells, manifestations, sacred energy, 
So yeah, this one is a huge witchy book, obviously. And the pages are so cool. And then this is my manifestation journal. I've had it for a while. Everything I write in it becomes my reality. So it is a very, very strong manifestation book. If you guys do not have one, you need to get one. Uh, you need to have a separate journal for your manifestations. Manifesting on paper is way, way amazing. It's way, way amazing. I have this and explain how it makes you feel. And the next thing you know, everything you write down becomes your reality. Thank you guys for watching my journal tour. Comment down below your favorite journal of mine. And if you stayed this far, comment down a little journal emoji. So I know who my real OGs are. Comment down below also some new next video ideas. And I will see you guys soon in the next video. Sending you all love, healing energy. So make sure you guys subscribe as well to see more witchy content. See you.